Hello YouTube family. I hope you're doing well. I hope the only March Madness you're experiencing are the basketball games on TV. Anyway, if you're stressed out about March and you're experiencing some craziness, I invite you to do a little relaxation technique that I enjoy and I do often to help me decompress and it helps me to relax, get rid of the toxic thinking, and then protect my energy. Welcome to Motivation Monday. My name is Mona Friday with Motivations Consulting. I teach people a little bit of everything. The other day I had finished breakfast and I was so tired. I felt like I just really needed to lie down. So I did take five minutes and I went and I was on the couch and I actually put a blanket over my head and I was feeling really stressed. And what uh, I do sometimes when I'm so busy, I forgot forget to even um, acknowledge my body. So I was feeling a whole lot of pressure and I actually just put my hand on my head. So I was resting and it, it just felt like it stopped the pressure, you know, like a pressure cooker. So it immediately just relaxed me and calmed me. And also just to relax by massaging my face, just a simple light touch massage and just gently stroking your face to help bring in that relaxation because sometimes our faces get so tight. And while I was doing this, it reminded me of another technique that I used to do all the time, but I had forgotten. So later on that day, I was able to um, do this relaxation technique, which is something that I do in the shower. So you can either do this in your mind, visualize it, or you could actually do it in the shower. So you're kind of washing away all the toxic thinking and all the toxic energy that you picked up throughout the day. And then you're going to seal your, yourself with um, love and energy. So I'd like to talk you through this little um, technique. So what I do is I make sure that I have a quiet space. I don't even listen to music because I don't want there to be any kind of trigger. So I don't want any other thoughts to come in my mind. I just want to be present with my body and my own thoughts. And so if there's particular things that are bothering you, it's really helpful to go ahead and start with washing your hair. So when you're washing your hair and you're scrubbing your scalp, think about the, like the bad thoughts that you might be thinking. So you just want to wash them out of your mind. You're just gently uh, scrubbing your scalp and then you're letting all those soap suds just wash down your body and take away all the bad thoughts that you had. And then um, go ahead and wash your face. And sometimes, you know, we get these ugly faces on ourselves. You know, sometimes I catch myself with, with a scowl or something and I gently just wash my face and let those ugly thoughts from my face and those ugly faces just go down the drain as well. And then I put conditioner in my hair just to soften it and to help it so it's easier to comb through. And that helps me to think about my life and to add ease and comfort to my life. And then go ahead and just scrub up the rest of your body and just wash away all that toxic thinking, all the, you know, if, if you're clenching your fist, that kind of stuff, just wash it all away. Watch it all go down the drain and be very intentional about it. Be intentional, intentional about allowing those awful thoughts to go, allowing those awful arguments that you have in your head just to go down the drain. And then, um, once you do that, you know, then again, rinse, rinse your body, you know, rinse your, rinse your hair, rinse all that, um, conditioner out of your hair. And then that, that just kind of soothes your body, you know, soothes your skin, let it be something that is calming and soothing and practice the nice breathing exercises when you're doing this. And every time that you might have an ugly thought, just 
intentionally wash it down the drain. And then when you're done, dry yourself off gently, be very gentle with yourself, and imagine that the world is being gentle with you as well. So then after you've done all that, then take the time to put lotion on your body, seal all that, that um, good energy into your body. And then go ahead and put some nice comfortable clothing on. And if, if you're going to work, then, then go ahead and suit up for the day, whatever it is you wear to work. But again, do that intentionally as well as if you're protecting your entire body from whatever outside forces there are. So um, then, of course, you know, women, we like to put on our makeup and fix our hair, but do it in a manner where you are protecting yourself, where it is an intentional shield from the outside world, from other people's energy, and just try to nurture yourself and bring that love in and... You know, uh, it's very important to, again, put that lotion on, put some chapstick on. Uh, for you women, I know we like to wear lipstick. It's, and it's just protecting, and imagine, protecting your mouth, protecting yourself from saying anything mean or, you know, biting your lip from saying mean things. Um, if we can go out into the world protected like this, then we're more likely to have better encounters with people. We're more likely to be more peaceful and interact with others in a loving manner. And when we do that, oftentimes others mirror our behavior. And it's very good to do with children as well. And it's um, helpful like at bedtime, going through that bath routine, help calm them down, wash it away. And you can talk them through it, let them know, we're going to wash away these bad thoughts that you might have. We're going to wash away any bad thing that you felt today. If somebody didn't treat you well, let's just wash it all away. And also like when you're flossing and brushing your teeth, imagine every little bit of stuff that you can get out of your, off your body, you know, Imagine it being something toxic and cleaning your body, cleansing yourself. You can cleanse yourself physically and mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Just imagine all of this is just clearing you out and giving you a fresh start. So imagine if you did this every day, just wash all that negativity away and embrace yourself take that time for that self-care and that love and when you love yourself again others are going to mirror that the more we uh, give to ourselves if we do that first then we're not going to be so resentful to give our time and energy to other people because we've already taken care of ourselves first so i hope you found this to be helpful until next time, I wish you peace, love, and happiness.